Hey guys, Matt Langford here. Just uh, out on the water with the new Garmin Force trolling motor. And this thing is a serious piece of kit. I've had it on my boat now for a couple of weeks and I've been using it during my guiding sessions with clients and I've really had a little bit of time to really explore the, the functionality and its use. Seriously impressed with how it performs. It's one of the most powerful trolling motors that I've had my hands on. It's all brushless technology. Um, minimal power use and there's so many different features that I'm going to run through with you now. It's a seriously cool piece of kit. The coolest thing about this little hand remote of the Garmin Force trolling motor is it's got on your hand piece it's got a little screen so if you wanted to access any of its settings you can change, uh, change your sensitivity, your speeds, you can calibrate everything all through this hand remote. The other cool little thing about this hand remote as well is I can operate spot lock, continuous motion, um, you can control basically all of its functions just by this little remote in your hand. Now a cool couple of cool little features about the hand remote, the number one is, is obviously its wireless connectivity but the also the really cool thing is when I'm guiding for instance and I'm, I'm sitting or standing at the back what I can do is I can control everything that happens at the front and I can do it just by pointing the, rem pointing the remote. So, a quick demonstration. So when I turn the, um, turn the trolling motor on, I've turned the speed up to about 10 at the moment, so it's only quite slow, it's about half speed. Now, if I didn't want to push the arrows and, and get in the direction with my arrows, what I can do is I can set it so that it's going to follow the direction that I'm pointing. So if I want to turn right, which I'm doing right now, I'm pointing it right. So I'll just do a bit of a semicircle here. Now if I want to straighten up, all I do is I point the hand remote straight and you'll see that the head of the unit is going to follow. Now if I want it to go left, I turn it left. If I want it to go right, it follows me right. So basically I can just point it in the direction I want to go and it'll follow any way that I any way that I point. So that's a really cool little function for the uh, Garmin Force trolling motor. Another cool little um, functions of the hand remote as well is it's got its on-screen display and I can basically control everything that happens on my sounders. The biggest selling point for me with the the Garmin Force trolling motor is its full connectivity to uh, your sounders. So I've got the 84 series sounders on my uh, boat at the moment and it's fully connected to my um, to my sounders. So what I can do from the hand remote instead of using the sounders which I'll show you very soon is I can actually set waypoints, I can record trails and I can also make the uh, trolling motor take us to specific waypoints. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And last but not least, with the actual hand remote as well, as well as your sounders and as well as your foot pedal, what I've got is a heading control on here as well. So if for example I'm heading straight, which I'll just straighten the, um, the, straighten the boat up in a particular heading at the moment, and if I lose concentration or turn off course, I'm just going to turn it over to the right at the moment. Now, if I wanted to keep on that same heading that I was going before, you can see it's pointed out to the right. All I have to do is put the heading, push in the heading button and watch the electric, it'll turn to the heading that I was just on. So it'll auto-correct and go back to that same heading. Really cool little function that I love. Specifically, if you're on a particular depth line, following a contour or you just want to be in a particular heading the whole time if you happen to lose concentration or stray away from that hit the heading button you're straight back online. 